Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at SAP status management. Since each business transaction in SAP updates either the same document or other documents, it becomes important to make sure that our SAP statuses are set up correctly. The two types of statuses are system status and user status. The difference between the two is that system statuses are provided by SAP and are unchangeable, while user statuses are defined by the user based on local business process. To create user status, we go to SPRO, then to IMG, then to Plant Maintenance and Customer Service, Master Data in Plant Maintenance and Customer Service, Basic Settings, and then to Define User Status. So we open that. And here we have a list of status profiles that are already in the system. I have created one for use in this illustration and that is BRIQ profile, status profile, Bridges IQ. Before I open that, I'll go ahead and show you how to create a new profile, just in case you don't have the one that you're looking for in this list here. You can go ahead and create your own profile and you go to new entries, then you give your entry your profile name and then you enter text there select your language and then you can you can enter so in our case because i already have it in the system it's not going to to save so but that is how you go about creating a new status profile. So I'll go ahead and cancel that and then I will click on my status here, my profile and what we have here are we have our profile then we have our user status. The first one is planning, we have test, we have ready to use, repair, stock and scrapped. And this is pretty much the life cycle of an equipment. On this side we have the codes, then we have the numbers here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We need to mark the first one as the initial status. So we need to remember to mark the one with the list number here as the initial status. The numbers here, lowest status number and highest status number, it means that for the first status here, you can be able to change it from between the two numbers here. And the same applies to the second one. You can change from 2 to 3. So that would be from, um, from planning to test or from test to planning. The third one between 3 and 6 and the rest of them here. And over here we have the position and priority. So we're going to go to the object tab. So our profile, we want to see it can be allowed on the objects that we select from this list. So again, our status profile, we can make a selection of the objects that are are allowed to have that profile and you can select as many as you want or uh, the ones that apply to your application. So I'll go back to Bridges, I, Bridges profile and right here we need to, we can assign a business process to the user status. 
So we go to new entries and we do that by let's say for example we want to assign a business process to planning. So we open planning so we have our status profile is uh, Bridges IQ then we have our status as equipment in planning so the business process we go to new entries and then we have a list of business transactions that we can assign to that status so or we can define for each of for that status so we can select the trans transactions that we want to be allowed the ones that will give us a warning and the ones that are forbidden so we can say accept quotation we can say that is allowed activate item we might decide that we need some kind of approval and so we don't want it to be activated so we can say that is forbidden we can approve we want to be alerted that something is being approved so we would go ahead and select warning so that is how you assign I mean you work with uh, the business the business process so for each of the starters we can define how each business process is to be handled so that's the handling of the business process and what happens is that you can do that you need to do that for each of the user status on this list so you go to equipment scrapped then again you go to new entries and then you can select wherever business process you want to be allowed or forbidden or to get a warning for so that is how we define or we create user status and the user status are can be applied to equipment and serial numbers order and order operations and functional locations and from what we have seen here and actually on this specific screen here user status gives us control you know on the approval process because this becomes a flag and then we kind of initiate that approval process it can also restrict transactions and then we also have it also gives us control of what is going on so thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll be moving on to the next video where we are going to be looking at we're going to go further into what we have defined here see you in the next video